the husband tried and said hey don't worry you're more to me than anything in the world and she said I know you're lying <laughs> hallelujah one day she broke down is there a way out she broke down they were all going home from one of the feasts and then she stopped and sneaked out went straight to the temple when she got in there she fell on her face before God brothers and sisters it matters that you know God for yourself I'm telling you it matters that you know God for you and this woman got in there she was fed up of all the promises she was fed up of all the sufferings she was fed up and she just broke down there in the presence of God and she began to pray is there a way out is it possible at all well you know the story she got what she wanted but what I want you to notice here the words that came out of her mouth when that miracle happened hmm. hallelujah oh thank you Lord Jesus Woo! Woo! glory how wonderful it is if you have this idea about God listen second chapter first Samuel <clears throat> And I'm reading the second verse, uh, no, from the first verse. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none besides thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. You remember that song? It was written by Hannah, praise God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. <laughs> Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge. Hallelujah. And by him actions are weighed. See what this woman, I mean, she, didn't, she wasn't just learning this. She got to know this. This was what made her go to the temple to pray. Hmm. The bows of the mighty men are broken. And they that stumbled are guarded with strength. Woo! Hey, 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 hallelujah. Woo. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. And they that were hungry ceased. So that the barren had born seven. And she that had many children is waxed feeble. Mm. You know when God does something for you, that one thing is more to you than the multitude of others that somebody has out of natural power, human power. She says the baron has given birth to seven. As far as she's concerned, this one is seven for me. And the one that had many children has become weak, feeble. See? They said I wouldn't have. But look me now. Look here, here, here is a child. The, the one who had ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She, 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 she can't stop for stretching her neck and looking at that just that one baby over there. Hallelujah. She's wax feeble. It's great when you can shine. Because God has been with you. Listen. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. What he's telling you is God's able to do all things. Watch this. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. Now this woman, I mean she's a singing. She's, she's singing. She's rejoicing. She says, the Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. Glory to God. 
Well, what made me bring you here is verse 8. I want you to listen. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he had set the world upon them. Ah, glory. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. Is it possible there's hope? Look at it. He raised up the poor out of the dust. He doesn't care how down in the valley you are. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. He can do it. He can do it. He can do it. He can bring you out of obscurity. He can do it. Hallelujah. He can do it. He says the pillars of the earth belong to the Lord. He set the world upon them. If he did that, he can do anything with my life. Are you still there? Yes. Stand in front of the mirror tonight. Look at the guy on the other side of the mirror and point at him and say, you are going places. Yeah. If you don't have a mirror, go get one tonight. Yeah. Hold it there and say, you, you. And that guy will be pointing at you, all right? Yeah. Say, you. Then say, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus. You are going places. Did you hear me? Yes. I used to do those things. I was standing in front of the mirror. I tell people today they wonder. Ah, dude, I'll stand there and I'll talk to the guy on that side. I said, the word of God is working in you. Working in you. You will preach it to many. You will. And sometimes when I'm talking like that, tears are coming out of my eyes and I'm still pointing. You, you will carry the glory of God. You will do it. You will. You will. Hallelujah. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill. Have you ever felt yourself like a beggar? Have you ever felt yourself? You know, sometimes it's so hard and it's like you just don't have. And you, you have made up your mind. You're not going to ask nobody for anything. But here you are. You just don't have. You just don't have. You can't even think what to do. You know, sometimes people become very frustrated because of things like this. It makes them do a lot of things. Sometimes things that are harmful to themselves or to others. They get violent. But think. He raised it up. I'll read these things again and again and again and again and again and again. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill. You may have asked somebody for a hundred naira before you were able to come here today. Take this scripture and say to yourself, He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Hallelujah. 
Are you still there? Okay, let's look at one more scripture. <clears throat> New Testament. So, the Mark's Gospel. <clears throat> 